Aquarius, I'm here to do your weekly reading. Um, it is January 2nd. I'm going to do from the 2nd to the 9th. They're all going to be like a little, um, like a day off maybe, but I want to get everybody their first week, you know, New Year's happen. But Aquarius, we gonna have a talk right now because there are too many of you in my comments saying, that you don't like being an Aquarius because Aquariuses are the worst. That could not be more false. Two of my favorite people in the world are Aquariuses, my dad and my grandma. So they are both amazing people. I love the ones who are proud to be Aquariuses, but you guys need to start learning to love that you're Aquariuses. I love my Aquariuses. I'm even talking to some, I'm interested, I'm interested in an Aquarius right now. So I wanna see what's going on. I hope he likes being an Aquarius. <laughs> so, okay guys, we got some energy here. We got some energy here this week. Your song for Shuffle was Don't Leave by M.O. Snake Ship, that Swedish singer. Um, don't leave, shut your mind up and let your heart breathe. Is somebody saying this to you or are you saying this to somebody? You're like, you don't want them to leave. You're like, you can be difficult. You can be um, tough at times or this can be this person, but they're like, but don't leave me. Like, fight through it. Fight through it. Okay, guys, this top energy here. I'm going to guess this is you guys because your card's here. Star card, Aquarius. This person is your wish fulfillment and you are already thinking of all the ways that they're just not going to love you. Aquarius, you gotta let them in. You gotta let somebody in. This person is like a dream come true and you're just thinking already all the ways that it might get sabotaged, that you're sabotaging yourself. This person, this person, they know you're their soulmate. They want to, actually, this is what the deal is. This person gets a lot of, this person's hot. This person's attractive. Um, and that's kind of how you see them is, and this could be vice versa, remember. That is how you see them. Is there somebody who gets a lot of offers, but the reality is, they're only looking at you. They're only looking at you. They want to make it work with you, but you're kind of pushing them away right, right now. So they're not sure. And they're like, they are hot. They do have options. They are somebody who is very like flirtatious, very, uh, a lot of people want to be around them. So they're thinking like, they don't want to make the effort for somebody who doesn't want to make an effort and you're kind of pushing them away right now so they're like in an energy of like well i'm not going to work that hard for this because if they don't want me then they don't want me so the blockages to love is just not being in this energy of allowing like you're not in an energy of loving yourself and accepting yourself you're kind of like afraid that nobody's going to accept you. The overall energy is that this is a divinely guided union. So it's too bad, so sad. You better gear up and get ready because this person is meant to be in your life. So the more you push out, like it's just the more difficult it's gonna make it. You're gonna have to come to a tower moment because this is meant to happen. This is meant to happen. So yeah, this person could be in an energy of like, and this could also be you, like you're hot, you're getting a lot of offers, but you're going to come through a tower moment because this is divinely guided. And you're just like, I don't want to make an effort. I don't want to, you know, work hard for this. They should be wa wanting to work hard for me. Um, and you could be wish fulfillment for them, but they're not letting you in. They want to see if you'll do the work. Some kind of declaration is coming out yeah a declaration something that has not been said before and there comes your offer bum, bum, ba -dum. maybe not marriage maybe for some of you it's marriage um god this is gonna move fast so there's some declaration that's going to come out um 
that might be like an explanation of why they've been so close to the chest. They might be like, it's because I love you so much. I just love you so much. So, um, yeah, you guys have an offer coming in soon, or you're going to make an offer towards this person. But I think you guys have an offer in the form of some truth being spoken. So some of you guys could be dealing with an Aries. Um, some of you guys could be dealing with a Libra. That's what I see here. Or just a fire sign. There's earth energy. There, the Virgos here. Um, so yeah, some of you guys could be dealing with, um, Virgo, somebody who's like very difficult to penetrate, somebody who's like not showing you all their emotions and it's because they're afraid, but you're kind of doing the same too. You guys are kind of mirroring each other in the sense that you guys are both afraid to like show each other how you feel. Aquarius, yeah, Ten of Wands, wanting to so much you want to say, but feeling like you can't, like, let it, just let it happen, big baby, baby, let it happen, this is going to happen because it's destiny, destiny, this person could bring you a lot of stability and a lot of happiness, so, um, yeah, I think you just got to go with the flow. You got to let this happen. You're being very closed off right now. And um, this person wants to come in or vice versa. This person's being very closed off. They just want to see if you'll make the effort. They want to see if you are going to make the effort. You guys are both each other's kind of wish fulfillment. You guys both want this. Neither of you wants to do the work because you're both kind of on your little pedestals being like, no, you have to work for me. No, you have to work for me. No, I want to see the effort. Just make the effort for one another. Um, you guys need to have a open communication. You guys have to speak. You guys have to tell each other how you are feeling, what is going on. And that way we can move forward. It's kind of at a standstill right now because nobody is communicating. Nobody's t talking about their feelings. So that needs to happen. That will happen because here's the tower with the ace of swords. So something's going to happen that all this is going to come out in the open. Like I said, this is divinely orchestrated. So if you guys don't get to talking, the universe is going to get you talking. So that is what I'm seeing for my Aquarius says. I'm going to be offering extended readings where I do messages from this person, actions they're going to take, and advice from your guides. So if you are interested in finding out a little bit more, click the link in the description box and I will see you over there. Bye!